morning, everybody. I'm here in Portage La Prairie, Manitoba. We're delivering this today. Actually, we're just dropping the trailer at the site where they're gonna need it. And then we're bobtailing back to our yard to grab a different trailer and then heading to Kenora, Ontario. We're gonna load that Kenora load tomorrow morning. We were hoping to be able to load it this afternoon yet, but it just won't work out with my hours of service. So, let's get out there. Might be able to swing by home yet. That's what I'm kind of hoping for. So we'll deliver this trailer, get our equipment off of it, get it ready for them to unload, we'll just leave it there, bobtail back to the yard. But on the way back to the yard, I think I might swing by home, spend a few hours at home. I gotta do a load of laundry at least, but uh, you know, see the family, my wife and kid. I'm gonna spend a couple hours there and then I'll go grab a trailer at our yard, a different one, and then head over to Kenora for later tonight. So. That's the plan. We'll see if we stick to the plan or not. Everything's ready to go. Lights are on. Get out of this messy part of the yard we're in here. Got my tires a little muddy in this yesterday, but there was nowhere else to park when I got here at 1 a.m. Well, I got that spot, which was pretty good because then you don't have anybody right beside you, right? But you do have to park in the mud then. Off we go. So I just talked to the receiver who's going to be uh, there to open the gate. Apparently it's like a uh, some kind of a quarry or something where I'm bringing this to. He's going to show me where to park it and stuff. Wait for this guy to get out of our way. Oh, buddy, but this is the exit. This is why I'm coming out this, why are you going that way? What are you, okay. Okay, well, that works too. I mean, it can be an entrance if you want it to be. Who am I? I'm not the rule maker. I'm not the police. You do you. Can't say I haven't done that before. Try not to do it on purpose. Sometimes you go in a drink, in a driveway and you realize later, oops, that was the exit. Now it's the entrance. We're up here in cottage country, Manitoba. Man, this makes me want to get out to the lake. Never really know how much you miss home until you get back to your home province, home region. Manitoba might not be much on the world stage, but it's home. Definitely feels good to be back in my own area. Not that I, I, I can't really call cottage country my area, because I don't have a cottage, but maybe one day. It's Manitoba. At least it's familiar, right? Because I have memories of growing up around here, coming to the lakes and stuff. Ah, there's so many things I want to do in life and there's just not enough money or time. Time is the biggest thing. But, you know, if you think about it, it's actually money. If I had enough money, time wouldn't be as big of an issue because then I wouldn't have to work every day and work so hard. I could go out and just spend money and sit on a beach or sit on a lake, get a boat, go fishing, get a pontoon, just go sit out on the water, get a jet ski, go have some fun. Oh, to have that kind of financial freedom, right? That's what we all want. Maybe one day I'll get there. Maybe. I miss being 
being in the bush. Out west, it's just so wide open. Wide open plains, you know? All right, any time now. You know, these lights make traffic flow back and forth easily and they don't gotta pay people to be here with signs, right? But on roads like this where there's practically no traffic anyway, all I'm doing is sitting here and nobody's coming. I could drive through there, nobody would, it wouldn't harm anything, but gotta wait for the green light. Even though there's nobody coming. I don't know how long it's gonna be. Am I far enough forward? Yeah, I think so. It should know I'm here, right? Forward a little bit more. Hello. And green. Ha, it worked, holy. That's the first time in my life that's ever worked. <laughs> that's kind of funny. That worked out perfect. That was like perfect. <laughs> oh, I surprise myself sometimes with my magical powers. I can control the lights. Did you know? Add that to my resume. Day today. It's 30 
30 degrees Celsius outside today. It's a nice hot Manitoba summer day. That keeps the road dry. So yeah, I'm driving down a gravel road, but the dust will be easy to wipe off later. It's when it gets wet or when they put those chemicals on the on the road to keep the dust down. That stuff, it sticks to your aluminum and your chrome and it just destroys it, dulls it. So this shouldn't be too bad. from like the, the beaten path of the Trans-Canada. It's just wild wilderness. This is what it's all about. Far away from any big cities. All right, we just passed a sign that said crane staging this way. Oh yeah, there's the other trailers. Cool. Massive crane. I wonder what they're gonna be building out here. I bet you it has something to do with the hydroelectric dams, I bet. They're not going to be building a big skyscraper out here, are they? I'm going to go this way and then uh, i got to back it in around there somewhere. Alright, let's get this thing parked and let's bobtail back out of here. had the truck all nice and wiped down right first thing in the morning and I hit one puddle on the way up here one puddle look at this better but it got some of it from the other side it was a big one still pretty clean so now i'll have to wait till i'm off the dirt road here and uh clean it all down again that's what you do just like when you go to the bathroom you wipe it every time every time it gets dirty right <laughs> and we're bobtailing out the same way we came in maybe about two miles of gravel. Not the greatest situation, but it's definitely better than 600 kilometers of gravel all the way up to kill them, you know? <laughs> Remember when we did that last time? I just, like, I had polished my truck weeks earlier and it just destroyed my polish. I'm not as worried about this gravel. It doesn't have all those same chemicals on it and uh, it's a lot lighter and it's dry. So, we'll wipe all the dust off when we get back. I'm gonna try to swing by the house first we go home for supper and then we'll go grab a trailer and go to Kenora
other side of town. That's their little fire station there on the right. Way oh, out the bush. Meters. Slide left on Highway 313. to uh, quickly stop by the house, have a shower, have supper. And one of the packages I ordered this last week just showed up. It's a new toy of mine. I'm excited to share it with you. Perfect timing, right? While I'm here. We have all these weeds growing in these uh, gravel areas, right? Especially in the back over there. It's pretty good, pretty bad. That's even worse. So I, uh, I saw online one way of getting rid of it, because we can't just put chemicals down or round up because our dogs are back here. We don't want them to get sick, right? So I found this on Amazon. <laughs> it's a flamethrower. <laughs> ah, it's a torch. It was advertised to get rid of weeds in areas like that. So you just light her up and you literally just burn the weeds away. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna call it my flamethrower. from the smoke is probably not the best idea. <laughs> yeah, it smells a little bit, but there's no harsh chemicals. Except for when you're burning the plastic along the bottom. I'm trying not to. <laughs> Gotta pull some of them. Yeah. Nothing's technically an easy fix ever with weeds. A new flamethrower. <laughs> that seems awesome. Hmm, fire. <laughs> Josh's new toy. Yep. So I don't have a lot of time to play with my new toy. But I had enough time to test it and we'll see how it is when I get back home next. So I just did along the perimeter around here. Except for right up close to the grass here. With all of this, you see? That was all green grass. We'll look over there, you see that? So we'll uh, use this as a test patch and see if it just grows back right away or if it's actually dead. I have a feeling it's just going to grow back right away. But at least it's fun.
So I hooked up onto a 53 foot aluminum step deck tandem. I'm gonna get it all hooked up, get my tarps off my catwalk, onto the trailer. I'm gonna head towards Kenora, find a good place to park. Maybe somewhere between here and there, or maybe right there, right in Kenora. We'll see how I feel as we go. I have the hours to get there yet, but uh, we'll see how I feel. I'm gonna pick up that load tomorrow, bring it down to Brainerd. We'll get unloaded tomorrow yet because the receiver unloads into the evening, as long as I'm there by about 9 o'clock, they'll unload till 10. So I won't have any problem with that, and then we'll see what they have for us once that's done. Well, I said I would pull over when I got tired, and I'm tired. We're just into Ontario at the rest area. Hoping we're gonna have a parking spot here that we can make use of. Looked like there was plenty when I drove past on the highway there. meters turn right on trans canada highway highway 17. one second one second i wanted to park along the side i wonder if i could park behind that car hauler in front of me there's not a lot of space between these you see how far these guys stick out there these trucks are right here but well, there's enough space, I guess. Got a pretty decent spot right on the edge. Though guaranteed if it does get a little packed in here, someone will come in here and park between here, but ah, whatever, that's fine. It's already pretty late, so I'm not sure if anyone will. I like to park back there where those guys are. That's uh, my favorite spot to park, but. They all left quite a bit of space between their units there. See that there, that there. And the other guys did that too, except for that white Western Star. He pulled up nice and close to the driver in front of him. But these car haulers, they left a lot of space between there. So if they would have snugged themselves up a little bit, and this guy too, I could have had room where there would have been room for another truck back there. Oh well, that's neither here nor there right now. I have a spot, so it doesn't matter. That's me right there. Time to go to bed. So good night everybody. Take care. Drive safe out there. Keep your eyes on the road. Your hands on the wheel. You know the drill. We're all trying to get home to our families. Tomorrow I'm gonna pick up that load in Kenora. We're gonna go down to Brainerd, Minnesota. And we'll see what life has for us after that. It'll keep us busy for the rest of the week. Uh, they'll keep us busy with something. I'm tired. That's why I stopped, so. No wasting time scrolling through Facebook or TikTok or Instagram Reels. Just straight to bed. <laughs>